design for 3D printing is a purpose-driven design. You can build functionalities, uh, complex geometries, lightweight products. We choose US technology because for our application it's the best on the market and we tried everything. The point is with eyewear, we need a high level of quality. Because eyewear is worn 365 days a year, 15 hours on average, we have mechanical stress, we have UV light, we have sweat, we have cosmetics, which influence the lifetime of the product. The frames are much more durable. They are super lightweight, 30% lighter than classical acetate or plastic frames. They are much more sustainable in the production. And the best thing about this, we can customize it. Um, the product adapts to the end consumer, not the other way around, like it is with traditional productions. At its purest form, all we need is an iPad or an iPhone. With that iPhone, with that iPad, um, every user is able to do a scan of their face um, to really detect all the facial um, features, the feature detection, where are your ears, where are your, where's your nose, where are your eyes, and so forth. For the first time, we see that a frame or glasses or eyewear becomes a digitalized version of itself. And without 3D printing capabilities, our business idea would not have been successful at all. We would not be able to do what we are doing today without the help of 3D printers. What fascinates me most about 3D printing is that we can build like nature does, layer by layer. Uh, and by doing so, additive manufacturing is sustainable by design. In our study, we see that we have a three times higher carbon footprint in the conventional manufacturing than in the 3D printing manufacturing. And if you think about customized uh, frames, that uh, is even better uh, because it's tailor-made uh, to the consumer. For this study, we were looking for a neutral party to do the research. Um, and the Fraunhofer Institute uh, is very credible and uh, uh, has lots of experience in this area. And that's why we approached them. And luckily, they were interested and said yes immediately. And that's why we worked together with the Fraunhofer. At EOS, we analyzed uh, the manufacturing processes. And together with Umavo, we looked on the full supply chain. So we compared the environmental impact of additive manufacturing in Germany with the conventional manufacturing of IVR frames in China. And the results were quite surprising because we initially thought that we would have similar environmental impact. However, we found out that the additive manufacturing performed much better and had roughly one third of the environmental impact of the conventional method. The opportunities are pretty much endless. Right? Like there, there are so many things that you can do with this technology, with that uh, um, business model, where we do see the, the customization uh, now. But there's far more uh, markets and domains out there that would be able to benefit from um, this technology vastly. 